All right. Well, I've been hard at work pressure canning all week. I've gotten some, a uh, couple of other things already done and put up in the pantry. Uh, today I am working on tuna. And this is the first time I've ever done tuna. And in the pressure canner now, just waiting for it to cool down enough I can take the jars out is um what did i do this morning what did i do this morning <laughs> oh beans i did some beans this morning so i took some uh some a variety of beans and put them all together in a like a medley and canned it up and uh, this is the first time doing beans too we'll see how that works out so for tuna apparently in these little half pint jars, you're supposed to cut them into two inch lengths, and then they just kind of fit right down into the jar. Super handy, super easy. Um, I got like a half a teaspoon of salt in the bottom of each one. And I'm just going to start with all of these big pieces that I have. So I started out with a 10 pound chunk of tuna, and we'll see. I'm estimating that I'm probably going to get these 14 half pints out of it, but I'm not really sure. And no, we didn't catch this tuna ourselves. We're not that talented yet. I bought this at... It's, I don't remember what it's called down there, like Bill Boys or Billy Boys or I don't know. It's a place on the Oregon coast right down there in Lincoln City where you can Bell Boys. <laughs> I don't remember what it's called. I'm hoping with these two inch chunks like this, it's leaving enough headspace because that looks kind of up there a bit. As a matter of fact, I think I'm going to cut that one down a little bit. That's a little too much. A little too much. I'm going to stuff that extra in there around the edge. That looks fatty. I don't know if I should cut that off or not, but quite frequently tuna is canned in oil, so I wouldn't imagine fat would be a horrible thing. I don't know. Barnacle Bills. Barnacle Bills. That's the name of it. I don't know why I kept trying to put a boy in there. Like B-O-U-Y, boy. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe they can. Yeah. Boy, I kind of like doing tuna. It's Super easy to get them in the jar. It said you're supposed to cut out all the pieces of dark meat. This one was prepared for me already when I bought it. So especially for my first time, that's really nice. So apparently for... Um, Half pint jars, you cut them in two inch widths and stuff them into the jar. And for pints, you would cut them into four inch and stuff them into the jar. Looks like that's going to be about what I get out of my. 10 pounds is the 14 half pints.
think I can make all this fit. Now, let's see, we paid about 50 bucks for this. Uh, it wasn't exactly 50 bucks, but that's pretty close. And we're getting 14 jars out of it. That makes it about three and a half bucks a jar. And these half pints are definitely bigger than like a can of tuna. But that's still fairly spendy. I'm trying to decide if this is fat over here or tuna. I think that's all fat. Well, that looks uh looks pretty good actually. So now we're gonna cap these up and throw them in the pressure canner for an hour and forty minutes. And when I get all done, I'll have my own home can tuna. All right, so we got the tuna all packed into jars. And the next thing we do is take a dishcloth or paper towel, whatever your preference is, um, soaked in vinegar, and you just wipe off the rim and the rings of each jar so that you make sure you get a good seal on there. And uh, Lynn just pointed out to me that some people might want to know, you know, why I would can my own tuna if it's so much more expensive than just buying canned tuna. Well, um, I like knowing what goes in my food and you don't always know what you're getting in your canned goods or in any of your food actually at the stores anymore. They just, they put so many additives in there and I don't really know what the conditions are in their kitchen when they, you know, when they can and when they cook. Um, you know, a lot of factories and you have workers in factories and workers are not always, they don't really care about the end product. All they care about is their paycheck. Well, in my house, I like knowing what's in my food and I like knowing, you know, that, that I cleaned my kitchen last week or last month sometime. I cleaned it sometime. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> You can't really tell because it is totally a disaster. But like I said, I have been uh, pressure canning for the last, I think, two or three days. And so I have things that just haven't gotten put away in between batches. But it's clean. Just messy. Because I'm a messy person. <clears throat> no, you're not. You're not messy? I'm not messy? Shit. Isn't that what I'm supposed to say? <laughs> <laughs> don't lie on YouTube people will find out <laughs> and I think I also forgot to mention that in the bottom of each one of these half pint jars with the tuna I put in a half a teaspoon of salt <clears throat> I've canned a few things without salt and they don't really turn out so well so I've just started adding salt when I first did it, uh, the, the instructions that I was reading said that flavors intensify during pressure canning, so be careful on your salt. So I just either didn't use any salt or I used very little salt. And now that I've canned a few things and I've opened up the jars and I always have to add salt because there's never enough. So I'm now just canning like my own recipes and cooking them just like I was going to cook them for dinner, only I pressure can them instead. Glad I didn't stumble and trip and pour that boiling hot water all over myself. I have canned my my entire adult life. I started when you know when I first went out on my own. Um, I just I enjoy preserving food in addition to knowing what's in it. 
this is just something that I enjoy doing, so. Which is funny, because I'm not really all that big on, like, cooking dinner every night. I don't... Another reason to... <laughs> it's true. All you have to do is go open a jar and voila, dinner. So, it's not just food... Well, it is food preservation, but it's... It's also helping on those nights that you don't feel like doing anything. That's true. I can still have my good home cooking and food that's cooked the way that I like it and I know I'm going to like it and I know what's in it and uh, I still don't have to spend like hours preparing and then cleaning up after dinner. That's usually my big problem with cooking dinners. I don't like cleaning up afterwards. I pretty much hate kitchen work, honestly. Except canning. Except canning. Ouch. I've also got going on today, I put a load in the freeze dryer of some uh, dog food because my canning leftovers from what I've been doing the last few days, I did some, uh, I did some chicken enchilada soup and I did some beef stroganoff, so I had scraps of beef and chicken, so I used those and made them up into, added some rice and some veggies, etc., and made them up into dog food for our dogs, and then I freeze dry that, and then when we feed them, I add a little bit of the freeze dried goody stuff on top of their regular dried dog food. And this is in the uh, background here, cutting up veggies for some hamburger stew, or hamburger soup, one of our favorites. And that's next on the agenda. And I was out in my cupboard, so we just got that new batch of, uh, of uh, uh, grass-fed beef in the freezer, so... Now's a good time to restock my pantry with some hamburger soup. I just discovered this tool like maybe a year ago, last year's canning season. And this is like the greatest thing since buttered bread. I haven't burned my fingers since. A different lid. That one's rusty. Don't use rusty rings. You may not get a seal on your jar. You might get lucky and get one, but I don't want to waste my time and energy and money on a mite. And then you just hand tighten these things down and throw them in the canner and you process them at 10 pounds for one hour and 40 minutes and this is one of the few foods i've ever seen that um, the processing time is the same for a pint or a half pint so next time i know i can buy more tuna and put them in different containers if i want to bigger containers Time to put the tuna in the pan. You fit seven of them on the top layer, and then you put a little thing on top, and you put the other seven on the top layer. And so I'm doing all 14 half pints at the same time. Well, the tuna is done. I got to get 14 pints out of it. Uh, they're sitting and cooling right now, but it looked like they turned out pretty darn great. I'm pleased with the result. And I did get also a batch of hamburger stew in. That's the leftovers that I had. I have a batch of seven quarts in the pressure canner right now. 
and I think somebody should stick a fork in me because I'm done with this day. <laughs> so onward to a well-deserved Retorita after a long day of food preservation. And when I'm all done, I can go in and actually clean the kitchen because I'm having a drink first. Because you know, when you're retired, it's always five o'clock. Cheers. <laughs>